explain to you very simple where cancer comes from. The only cause for cancer is mental and emotional stress, living in constant fears, worries, doubts, pain, because the, see, every illness is based on lack of energy. And the only way to chronically create this lack of energy to develop cancer, which is really, really hard to do, for you to create cancer is a hard job because 86% of all doctor visits and illness is stress related. Stanford University even says 95%. So if you don't understand my simple analogy, let's say you live with your mother-in-law and uh, every time you come home, she's nagging, she's asking you stupid stuff, she's getting on your nerves. So after a while, you already get aggressive and angry coming home. So now she keeps on doing that. Now when you come home, you don't even want to get out of the car anymore because you know she's there waiting, lurking behind the window. So now, now you develop from that stress and from this compromise against yourself, you develop stomach ulcers. And uh, short term, everything that short term problems you cannot digest in your life mentally and emotionally goes to your stomach. So now it goes on do you sit now half an hour with in the car before you even go in because there she is again? And now <laughs> oh, what, what if you got against mother-in-laws? My one, my mother-in-law is a beautiful woman. <laughs> Good, but I just use this as an okay, okay. And so now, now you you're coming home uh, for two years in this environment. Now you develop uh, colon cancer because uh, you make a compromise against yourself, which is the main cause for cancer to begin with. And now you create this constant stress and this constant stress creates chronic lack of energy. And now you get colon cancer because long-term things you cannot digest mentally and emotionally in your life lead to colon cancer. The body speaks in symbols very, very clearly, very, like vision problems, certain things you will not, don't want to see in your life. Or if you cannot breathe, if you cannot breathe in your environment. But the, the main thing is now you have your mother-in-law still living there. Now you can have uh, your colon taken out. You can do chemotherapy. You can do radiation. As long as the mother-in-law is still there, you will not be cured from anything. No matter how you change your diet, no matter whatever you do. In the moment you open the window, grab your mother-in-law on her butt and on her neck and throw out of the window, the healing starts. Because IBMS, what I developed, instinct-based medicine system, that's the system I developed in over 45 years. It's basically identifying and eliminating the root cause of every negative result in a human's life. It doesn't matter if you have cancer of the body, if you have cancer of the wallet, if you have cancer of relationships, if you have cancer uh, of your career, all of this is caused by you. If you're overweight, what are you trying to compensate for? What are you trying to? Uh, what, are you, what are you trying to give yourself that you don't get in life through overeating or eating all the bad stuff? So everything is simple and logical until somebody comes, the medical doctor, and makes it very scary and very complicated, so that basically you uh, believe there is only uh, a very expensive form of therapy. By the way the uh, oncologist gets 50% back as a kickback of your chemotherapy costs. And chemotherapy, as everybody knows, is very expensive. Now we are in the $300 billion yearly industry, the cancer industry. So they 